Dylan, have a go at him. <laughs> he was right down there on the edge of the river. Man, he is stunning. This is the Venom Diaries, where we milk Australia's deadliest snakes for their venom to create anti-venom that saves over 300 lives every single year. Woo how good is this? G'day and welcome to the next episode of Venom Diaries. Today we are out catching tiger snakes under permit for collection for the Venom program. I'm unbelievably excited. It was an early morning, got up at four o'clock and uh, sent it four hours from uh, home. I'm out here with Dylan and uh, yeah, we've just come onto this fellow's property that we know. We've been out here in the past and caught tiger snakes, it's a great spot. And uh, as you can see, it's got this beautiful river running through it. I feel like Russell Coit. I feel like my car's gonna reverse back into the river and I'm gonna lose it, but uh, hopefully she holds up all right. So what we're gonna do, plan is, we're gonna literally just walk up the river try and find a few we're going to cut over to where there's an old shed that collapsed um, a few years ago that uh, we've caught snakes at in the past too and we'll talk about snake hotels there but yeah i am very excited so let's go how they go up the joint so uh dylan and i are just slowly making our way up the river um you can see the ideal basking spots down in front here sun's hitting us that nice granite rock um, and they come out and bask and they bask against the edge of these tussocks down here as well and they're feeding on like frogs and lizards so it was quite a cool morning like when we first got out here it was uh 14 degrees all right so temps have dropped in the last couple of weeks but yeah it was 14 degrees it's now 23 so it's hitting that prime tiger snake basking temperature they don't love it too hot like a like a brown snake would um so yeah we're going to poke our way up here and uh see how we go We've just spotted a snake on the other side of the river, so Dylan's peeling over. Can you see him come further forward? Yeah, right, right in front there, he just was. No go. Literally right where you're standing, where we've seen him. All right, we haven't had any luck at this first spot, so we're going to peel up to where this old shed is that the farmer's got, have a bit of a look around there, and then we're going to come back down a little bit further up the river and uh, see how we go. I had a, a dad reach out to me recently on Instagram and say um, his son, Leo, is a huge fan of Venom Diaries. So I just wanted to say big thanks for the support from uh, the young fellow Leo. I think he's five years of age, loves uh, the channel, loves the reptile park, loves snakes. So um, it's good to see kids like that enjoying this channel, hopefully learning a bit. But uh, I guess the number one thing I say for, for kids, um, well, anyone really, you know, if you see a snake in the bush, enjoy it from a distance. Don't approach it. Don't annoy it. Don't try and pick it up. Um, and kiddos, if you see one, tell a grown up. Let them know. Mum, dad, nan and pop, whoever. Um, but enjoy it from a distance, all right? Do not approach that snake. Anyway, Leo, you're a little legend. Thanks, eh? Right, eh? So we're out here obviously looking for tiger snakes. And I wanted to show you what we would call a snake hotel. All right, so if you have a go at this, it's an old shed that fell down years and years ago. And now you've got all this corrugated iron just scattered across the paddock. There's rodent holes everywhere. There's a rabbit warren right there. Um, there's lizards galore. There's frogs galore. So this is like literally a hotel for a snake. They can come here. They've got shelter. There's water nearby. And there's food on tap. So um, we, you know, it's hard out here in, in, in rural areas for the farmers to try and keep these sort of, you know, they've got so much going on. So... But in regards to people in the backyard in an urban environment, we encourage them, like, because we've been flipping tin like this. The reason the snakes sit under it is it holds heat, right? So it's only 23 degrees today. It's starting to cool off. It's March. Um, but it holds that bit of heat, and the snakes love it. So I've been poking through here. We, Dylan just literally found uh, a juvenile copperhead, um, and we found three adult copperheads today as well. Um, but even like bits of timber like this can be enough to hold a snake. So yeah, I'm just slowly poking through here, looking under. It's normally the isolated sheets um, that seem to do pretty well. Normally the bigger ones, but... Um, yeah, if you can sort of minimise this sort of stuff, it definitely increases... The chance of not... Oh, look at this. Oh, far out. Oh, he's deep in shed. That's why he's hiding here. But feel the warmth on that. That's a tiger snake. That's what we come here for. Oh, it's only a small one. These little ones can be 
quite tricky to hold on to. I'll bring him out of your way from, oh, yo, 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 yo. I'll bring him out of your way from that tin. So he's deep in shed, right? He's got that opaque look to him. Dylan, do you want to try and set that camera down? I'll pass you my bag. Oi, oi, oi. Um, actually, you come and grab the snake. I'll, um, I'll get a bag out. So yeah, we've got a collection permit at the moment. Um, I'm targeting younger snakes. The reason why we come out and collect is uh, A, this particular locality produces really nice snakes that have really big venom yields. Um, and it also, we can get some better genetics um, back at the park with our tigers. So this fella here is coming back with us. Oh, he's little. These snakes are hard to hold on to. Ooh. Beauty. Mad. That was awkward as. <laughs> if, just get up, we'll cut it. Just get up again. Beauty. Good stuff, mate. So, that is the first tiger for the day. Like I said, we've seen three copperheads. Um, I might try and put a bit of footage in there. I did take footage of one of them while I was sitting there. I actually almost stood on him. But yeah, looking at this, see the rubbish piles here? If you're in an urban environment, you can reduce it. You're really going to um, lower the chances of having a, uh, a snake in the backyard, you know? So, you know, the farmer's house, he's way over the back here. He hasn't got to worry about this much too, too, too much. So, uh, yeah, how good. First tiger snake of the day. Nice young one, nice, strong, healthy. And uh, we're going to keep looking and we're going to go down to the river now and have a, have a bit of a geezer. Tiger snake country. This is as good as it gets, um, very typical for New South Wales. Um, and this time of year, surprisingly, the tigers don't love that real hot period. So they sort of bunker down for it. They prefer, you know, like the springtime, uh, late summer and autumn. And I've even seen them, seen them basking in the middle of winter. Um, I've seen photos of them basking around snow. So they can handle really, really cool climates. And where we are at the moment, it's quite high altitude and uh, they tackle this with ease. Like out here where we are, literally snows in winter. Crazy snakes, they're really hard to work out their patterns. Dylan and I were talking about this before. You know, like when you're targeting them, you think you're on the money, you know, you've got the right habitat and temps seem all right. And then you don't see any in and out of nowhere. Bang, you've got two or three in, in half an hour. So uh, anyway, we're out here in uh, probably one of the best parts of the country. Definitely one of the best places in New South Wales, literally looking for snakes, which is what Dylan, Dylan and I absolutely love doing. Um, we do it when we're not even working. So um, this is just a bonus that we're at work doing it. And uh, have a go at the scenery, would you? Look at this. Beautiful granite creek. We've seen a couple of turtles, a few fish. What a day, this has been magic, absolutely magic. Dylan! Hey. Have a go at him. <laughs> he was right down there on the edge of the river. Man, he is stunning. Wow. So this is a beautiful individual, probably one of the best looking wild tiger snakes I've seen in this area. Look at the patterns on him. That beautiful gray head, really nice yellow. Um, man, that is a nice looking snake. So this is, this is the number one target for us out here. So I know we've got that little one already, but uh, this one's a bit bigger and uh, absolutely gorgeous not in shed like the other one. Now, pretty wild, the tiger snake is the fifth most venomous snake in the world. Um, and even a smaller one like this, like this guy's probably only half grown. Um, definitely capable of uh, a seriously dangerous bite, see that? And a uh, typical tiger snake, they carry on like a, like a pork chop when, they get, when you pick them up. Um, they flatten that neck out and, uh, and they really try and defend themselves. I actually had to grab a stick when I grabbed him because he was just going bananas and I, almost lost him into the water have a go at him so what i'm going to do deal let's go up into the open somewhere we've got to get this fella into a bag i think um you know it's probably just getting almost too hot now for tigers so um we're probably going to call it quits for the day we've got two great snakes to take back to the park grow up for future venom program snakes so what deal, we'll do what we did before that other snake. I'll pass you him and I'll get that bag out of my backpack. Alrighty, you can see that temp's picking up. This snake is becoming a bit wired, so just 
Probably the most dangerous part of this is bagging them. Let's stick go over there. All right, into that bag. Ooh, where's his head? Yes, number two. Beauty. How good. So I think we're gonna call it a, call it a day there. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, tiger snake hunting. We're gonna cover a couple more times for the year. We're gonna get a, probably collect, I don't know, a few more, uh, maybe before it cools right off for winter. Um, we'll see how we go. But yeah, while the temps are holding like this, might come up maybe next week, week after, we'll see how we go. But if I do, I'll be sure to bring you along. Anyway, guys, th that's it for this episode. Hope you loved it. Um, thanks for all the support of the channel. Uh, remember, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you for the next episode.